this technology of the tilt has become very, um, you know, uh, known, I guess would be the best way to say it over the last little bit with the GS18 um, and, and all the, and the, the GS18 tilt base rover. And you just get used to not having to level up and it makes us a lot more efficient, right? Because we don't have to level up. We can just keep on moving as fast as we can and take, take measurements, right? And again, the, the technology is very similar inside the AP20. There's an IMU that um, takes information and passes it back and forth to the total station, uh, syncs all the information and then stores in the data collector, okay? A um, few things to mention, you get um, that the, there is, uh, um, you know, a lot of functionality here when it comes to um, taking measurements, right? Again, like with the GS18, you can take measurements and not have to worry about, you know, something being in your way. If there's like, like here, if there's something above you, you can just, put the pole in, take a measurement and away you go. Um, again, I've only used it uh, a little bit, but the accuracy I was seeing was very good. Um, it really came into what the spec was, which you're saying it's, you know, you're getting an accuracy of, you know, one centimeter of lower, even on, on higher tilt, um, uh, tilt and pull situations. Um, and the one thing that you really do see, and the thing I liked about this is that um, you see a lot of people doing hardscape topo with total stations because that error with the GPS is just too much, right? Yeah. Um, for vertical, uh, this here, the, the, the vertical is, is total station vertical. It, it keeps you um, super tight working with the, the, the tilt and you're gonna get up, uh, you don't have that error, that fluctuation to see with the GPS in the vertical and that really does, does add to it. Um, you get the same type of functionality with the, uh, with the tilt for, for staking as well. So again, with the GS18T, you just walk up to a point put, the point, put the tip on the point that you're trying to stake. You don't have to worry about leveling up and verifying, so it becomes a lot quicker in that regard. And also you get the ability here to um, flip the pole upside down. So there is some, some real um, ability to, to, you know, you can take inverted measurements with it, but you can also turn the uh, pole directly upside down and there's a toggle inside the software to allow you to project the, the pole height to the top of the pole or to the bottom. So there's some cool some cool little accessories like tips you can put on the top of the GRZ122, the, the Pro 360 Prism with the, with the 5 8 thread on top. So you can do staking and stuff from a, a much lower um, rod height um, very quickly. And um, it, it, it allows those type of, um, you know, three, four, four mil type of accuracy shots in concrete um, you can do very quickly. Yeah.